why like that question came and I'm going to pose that question myself and, and start making a list of, I, I've done a little bit of this, but I can always go deeper and further, like things I want to do. I mean, that's why I wrote, you know, that's right. why I do the things that, that's why I do this podcast. My kids, my grandkids, people could pick it up. I know you do a podcast, which, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there on time, but which I, um, I want to bring up. But yeah. Continue, man. Yeah. So I think the biggest thing though, that, you know, if anyone can take away something is what are the mindsets that you're living with? You know, what is it that drives you? What are you passionate about? That's something I ask every candidate I talk to. Like, what is it that you are passionate about? What drives you on a daily basis? And you can answer the question for work. You can answer the question for family. You can answer, you know, any, any way. And the other thing is, is like, what three things, if you could create, you know, your next whatever, what are the top three things it would, you know, need? If, if you want to create a great family experience, what are the top three things that you feel you need to be able to do that? If you, your next, uh, you know, step in your life, this next phase of your life, you know, if you could create it, what top three things would make it great for you? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And, and what it does is it really, because what I dealt with from the time I was five to the time that I started dealing with my, my wife's infidelity and moving past that, I didn't recognize it until then, but I had a victim mentality. And so when I looked at life, I looked at it through the lens of a victim rather than, and, and so things were happening to me but not necessarily for me. And I think that's one of the biggest takeaways I get from like the personal growth. Uh, you can take, you know, the uh, Carol Dweck. I always talk about Carol Dweck. That's a book that really changed me. It's mindset. You have mentioned that yeah, in our conversations. You know, is, is the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset. And the focus of it is how can I grow through this? And how is this an opportunity that's for me? And not against me. And that's the point. Like all of the things that I went through, I began to recognize these are not against me. These are for me. These are challenges that are happening. Yeah. Some, some of them are due to my choices. Some of them aren't, but they're there 